Um, am I a bee? This is New Life, a modded survival multiplayer server where we start on a random origin with cool new abilities. Every time we die, our origin is re-rolled, and we'd better be careful because we only have five lives left before we are banned from the server. Swarm. These hive independent groups of bees choose to stick together to overcome the obstacles of the world. Oh boy. <laughs> eh, well, I feel like this is a pretty good origin for me. Sadly, our first day on this modded SMP is a rainy one, but we can pick up our things that spawn anyways. We have been given a waystone, a lunchbox, that's adorable, <laughs> and of course, we can also take a little bit of food for our journey. And I can even pack some of it in the lunch pack. As with every new world, the very first thing that we need to do is still punch some wood. And luckily, even though I'm a swarm, there's nothing weird about this. Now, um, this is slightly embarrassing, but as this is a sort of hardcore world where there is punishment for dying, I needed to be safe. So I did, in fact, spend my first night in a little hole. It's fine. I'm not embarrassed at all. I've managed to collect up a little cobble and coal, and now I think I'll sleep through the night. Thank you, whoever's bed that was. Now, we need to be careful. We have less hearts than average, and we're also just a little bee. <laughs> well, bees are pretty fragile. We can hover, though, which is nice. <laughs> oh, look at these flowers. And what are these? Carrots. Nice. I'll just take a couple with me. Look at how cute these modded pigs are. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're so fun. Oh. <gasps> Look! Oh my goodness! Are you nice? You look nice! <gasps> I think I love it here! <laughs> Exploring modded worlds has got to be one of my favorite activities. This is so neat! Of course, we do need to find a couple more resources before the next night comes. So I'm keeping my eye out for iron or... Oh dear. Oh god! Ah, oh, what's that? Oh goodness! <laughs> smoke sensitivity. Your senses are lessened when near smoke. Oh gosh, suddenly I feel for every bee I've ever farmed. Okay, gonna get myself away from there. I don't think water will kill me. Oh, I can just jump over it. Never mind. There we go. I see some iron in the cliff. I'm gonna go grab that. Just one piece. Really? Well. One piece of iron isn't much, but I think I can use it to make a knife, which would be useful. An iron knife. Yeah, we're definitely gonna need that. Oh my gosh, look at this forest. And there's berries. Ow, ow. Oh goodness. <laughs> you really lose health fast when you're a bee. So far, I'm not really seeing anything that a bee would like to live in. Just a lot of woodland, which is great, but you know, not really my thing. Oh my gosh. What is that? There's dragonflies and, and a creeper. I think that's a creeper. Mm, don't see any other enemies though. I mean, it can't hurt to take a little peek, right? Just the tiniest of little peeks. Oh dear, the smoke. Where's the smoke coming from? Is there a fire? Oh yeah, yeah, hold on. Hold on, I just, I don't think we need that. Oh gosh. Don't mind me, just taking some books. Ooh. Ooh, look at all this. It's a good thing I have this lunch box. Look, I could put all of this food in here. Uh, though not that, apparently. Oh, and there's a bed up here. Oh my gosh. Oh. Now what do you think that is? Oh goodness, they're spawning. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, do you know what? I wasn't here. It just... Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go find a spot where, where the bees live and where there aren't mushroom things. Oh gosh. Sugar cane, don't mind if I do. There sure is a lot of forest on this server. I'm not seeing anything that a bee would like. Are those lilac cows? <gasps> this? This is the best day of my life. Oh my goodness. You are adorable! No way! There's more! <laughs> this is so cool. It is getting nighttime though, and I don't really have a hive to return to. It's fine. I'm I'm gonna build a makeshift little hive just right here. Oh, we'll 
will be safe. Everything will be safe. Nobody worry. This is this is where I'll be staying. Uh-huh. We got all the essentials. I'm gonna go to sleep. That's a very scary noise. I'm fine. I'm fine. Totally not a wimp. You know what? I think this looks like the perfect place for a bee to set up. There's so many flowers here for my swarm. Yep. Yep. This is it. I'm not going any further. <laughs> I'm living here. Now this house is a little bit pathetic, so we're going to have to work on that. Oh. Look. I can get straw with my knife. Okay. First order of business. we got to keep the swarm safe. So in order to do that, we're going to need some farms, a lot of flowers, a safe, cozy house, lots and lots of lights. Um, bees don't like the nighttime. Hey, look, we can use the straw to make canvas. And then we can make a rug. Oh, this is a dream come true. That's all I need, really. Well, that, let me hover back over here and place down my rug. Yeah, it's a home now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're, we're gonna work on it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get some materials, I think. We need iron. We need armor to keep us safe. We need a bunch more wood. We have a lot to do. First order of business, birch forest planting. What the heck is that? Is that a mossy creeper? Okay, gonna get a lot of jump scares and modded. It's fine. You know what? When you only have seven hearts and no armor, you gotta take things really carefully. Ooh, onions. Nice. You know what? It's better than nothing. <laughs> I look kind of cool. This might be a case of curiosity killing the cat, but I'm curious. I am so sorry, I didn't, I am not here. Ah, wow, that's so weird how your entire house just went poof. Um, my bad. I'm so thankful they have swords and not arrows. All right, I poked around a lot of the surrounding areas and I've set up a little uh, pathetic bee base here. And I think if I want good things for my swarm of bees, well, I'm, I'm gonna need a lot more stuff. So I'm gonna craft a quick sleeping bag, drop off what I can, and head out on an adventure. I'm gonna sleep first, never mind. I've explored a lot over in this direction, so I think I'd like to explore behind my house now. Let's go, it's this bee's first grand adventure. And possibly the last, depending on how I play this. Let's hope it goes well. Whoa, look, there's a little cozy village. It's got a lot of smoke, but um, <laughs> it's not too far from home, so let's check it out. What? <laughs> what are you? Yeah, I don't think I can break it. Oh, pumpkins! Is there something up there? Let's grab a pumpkin and go check it out. I hear spiders. Oh, it's a spawner! Come here. You're not the right type of bug. I can't believe I found a spawner! I guess I better mark it. Perfect. Oh, modded villages are so cute! Let's see what we've got here in the village. Okay. Not a lot. I will take the glowstone dust though. I don't want to go to the nether as a bee. <laughs> Hello? Oh, goodness. Oceanographer. Your house is beautiful. I am going to steal from it. Thank you. There's an aquarium. No way. You've got a flowery hat. Oh, this was meant for a bee. I'm a bee. Do you recognize me? Oh, okay, maybe not. I really should have made a backpack before coming here. <laughs> Canvas, leather, and a chest. Just need some leather. I'm sorry. Diamonds for eyes? I, what? I'm absolutely gonna come take your eyeballs. First though, <laughs> I need a chest for all this stuff. You know what? That would make better eyes. Trust me. Oh, here we go. There's a waystone. I can now register that, and I should be able to get from here and my house in just one click. That makes me feel a lot better because I had a lot of stuff to take home. And I really didn't want to leave it here. What can I say? I'm, I'm just a really needy bee, okay? I need things. All the things. Okay, I just have to pick a spot for my waystone to go down, which 
I, I guess for now it doesn't really matter. I'll just put it there. Okay, with this waystone down, I can now instantly <laughs> work back to the village. Nice. And I can collect up all the rest of my stuff. Look. There's even nether warts. Oh, I want them all. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Oh, oh, there's smoke. Oh, for goodness sake. Uh, it's hard being a bee. I'm gonna leave the rest just in case somebody else needs, but I am gonna take this glowstone. <laughs> oh, and what's this? I can't see it because everything has smoke and I'm a bee. Jeez. Uh, what is this? I'm not even sure if I can break this with a stone pickaxe. Update, I can't. Ooh, another fun thing about being a bee is I can use this and it actually does four instead of just one. Mm-hmm, that's right. I'm really good at pollinating stuff. Now, since I already have a ton of hay, how about we try to grow some cabbage? <laughs> I have no idea what this is gonna look like, but I'm excited. I love having new crops. Everybody ignore what's going on in my chest right now. It's, it's fine. I'm gonna just, we're to keep collecting stuff. Let me see if I can actually go ahead and finally make a backpack. So I've made some more canvas and I, I think it's just this. Oh, it's cloth, not canvas, wool and wheat. Okay, that's an important distinction. Well, I have tons of wheat. <laughs> I guess I should just get some wool together. Come here, little sheep. I've made you a lovely pen over here. Another really OP thing about being a swarm is we can add to the swarm really easily by infinitely breeding sheep or, well, any animal as much as we want. There's no cooldown. Okay, <laughs> that's enough babies for now. There we go. A backpack. Doesn't hold items. Attach to frame to store stuff. Ladders, string, and planks. I've added a little mod that uh, hides armor, so I don't look quite as ridiculous. And you can see my cute bee skin. Also think I have everything that I need in order to go mining. But first, I'm gonna go grab that zinc that I saw in the village. Really hope an iron will do it. Yeah, there we go, raw zinc. Zinc ingot. Nice. We just unlocked a bunch of new recipes. It's finally time to take these humble beginnings somewhere a lot more impressive. I'm pretty much all set up now and ready to get going. We just need a lot more materials and also some fun, you know, automated stuff. <laughs> like, for example, this water wheel, which it looks like we're gonna need a cog wheel, which we're, we're gonna need a shaft for, which we're gonna need andesite alloy for which we're gonna need zinc and andesite for. Mod modded is a lot. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go find some andesite. Oh, and hey, good news, my cabbage is ready. We're also gonna need a bunch of bricks in order to actually get cooking any of these things that we're farming. Good news before we do anything else though, sausage is on his way. Oh my gosh, this man is walking on the air. Did you see that? Yeah. Isn't that amazing? It's like you're walking on air. This. Oh. I love this. This is the greatest power I could ever think of. Yeah, watch. I could. I'd do it too. Ready? Uh, Show me. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! You that's, do the same that's thing. It. That's the whole thing. Yeah, it's just not as high, really. I also have no fall damage. Oh, I love this life. <laughs> what the heck? You're so <laughs> OP. I'm just a bee. I know. You're a bee. Wait, you're a bee? Oh my God! Sting me! Sting me! Yeah, that's very powerful. I'm actually just a, a swarm. Like, I don't have the, the poison. Oh. oh, you don't have the poison? Uh, but you I can breathe things okay. infinitely. <gasps> really? Which is really cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. I also have flower cows, look! Oh, oh, I saw some of these in the wilderness, and I did something, and I mi I was very, very sad about it after. What'd you do? You want to see? No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, it, was, it was an accident. Well, there's an advancement for it if you want an advancement. No, this is, these are my swarm. All of them, the okay. bees and the sheep and the cows, and I'm protecting them. I see you have crops, right? I got crops. Yeah, for you. you got crops. Yeah, what you, you got? ready? Watch this. Are you ready? I've been searching, and I found a lot of stuff in villages close by. So uh -huh. take some wild carrots. Well, wait, how did you pick them wild? Oh, I think I might have sheared them. I think I might have sheared them. Oh, you sheared them. Do you want some cabbage seeds? Oh yes, please. I don't have go. any cabbage. Listen, I also have some onions. I have some tomatoes. <gasps> tomatoes? I don't have any tomatoes. I'll plant them. There you them. go. I found so much random stuff. I have zero stuff. So I'm gonna see if I can prepare myself and get a bunch of materials and then I'm gonna build something cool. And then you can come see it when it's done. 
I can't wait. We'll have to build a bridge move. Oh, we should tell the people where you live. You live yep. over here, right? Oh, yeah. Come, come, come. L let me show you. We sausage is my neighbor. I am a neighbor. I am That's literally. That's sausage's land right there. Right there. This whole area There's right trees. here is me. Is there a little house on your land? There is, and I haven't explored it yet. Ooh. I'm scared to go in there. I think there's there's hostile creatures inside. Okay, I'm not you have even fun with prepared. that. I got a dungeon Thank on my you. land. You got a dungeon on your land. Everybody has a dungeon. I have a spider dungeon, by the way. I'm going to make a grinder out of it. Can you use it? Oh, you want? let me. I need. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. I will love a little grinding in some spiders one day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to do a better one than spiders, but spiders are a good start. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep explore. I'm going to do some caving and see maybe we have something crazier down there too. I'll yeah, I ain't more. going caving quite yet. I'm going to dig a hole. I'm going to dig a hole and go down it. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do too. Right now. I'm scared. Okay, goodbye. Found some andesite. Nice. <laughs> this is right under my house as well. Okay, let's go ahead and make some of our andesite alloy. Perfect. <laughs> I think that has added, well, a lot of recipes. <laughs> After Sausage left, I got extremely addicted to the Create mod. I mean, this thing is so fun. You can power all of these different gears and machinery and unlock so much. It's kind of like Redstone, but like slightly more nerdy and also slightly easier to understand. So I did a lot with it. And eventually I needed to go mining again. <gasps> Bonk! I did it! <laughs> cool. I got an iron sheet. I don't really know what I do with that, but I think I can also get some copper sheets. Let's go. Five at a time. <laughs> Whoa. This is a very cool Minecraft mod. Hello? Any iron? Oh, just tons of copper. Is this a mine shaft? An icy mine shaft? For real? Yeah, that seems like a problem for future me, because current me does not have the gear for that. Thankfully, I did manage to find 27 iron, and I'm itching to get back to try the create mod some more, so I think I'm going to smelt this and see what else I can do. At this point in the game, I was basically just using all of the iron that I got to fuel my create mod addiction. Although the nerdy sides of this mod pack were really fun, I had kind of met my match with the create mod, and I couldn't really go any further until I finally went mining. I had been putting it off for a long time and decided to go strip mining the wimpy way. I did manage to get some diamonds, though, and gold, and weirdly, I also wanted redstone. It was a successful trip. Okay, diving back in now to some of the nerdy stuff because I finally have some gold. I'm gonna need to press a bunch of that. <laughs> there we go. Basically, I've set up this very temporary area powered by water wheels in the back here. We're gonna have to set up something nicer, but I'm following a tutorial, which I'll link down below, to basically learn all of this in real time in game. I find it really fun to learn stuff like this in actual survival mode, so I, I haven't actually gone into a creative world to test any of it. So far, I figured out a lot of things though, like for example, I've got this millstone and I can put wheat in, which is gonna make dough! Isn't that just the coolest? The flour we get from the wheat can combine with water to make dough. And then the dough combines with lime green. From that, I've been able to make slime, which has been able to make super glue. For now though, this gold has actually unlocked something really important. And that important thing is a wrench. As soon as I find it. Hold on, there's a lot of things. I, I put it here. There we go. We're gonna make a harvester because I think I can probably go ahead now and actually start automating some of this farming. Oh no, don't press my sword. Here we go. One mechanical harvester. Okay, so this harvester should be able to go around and harvest all of this wheat as it grows. <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh, I actually did it. <laughs> It's only gonna harvest fully grown crops, so we're gonna have to wait for everything to grow, but I'm patient and it's automatic, so that should be super awesome. Man, if you thought I was unorganized in vanilla Minecraft, it's worse than modded. It, it, it's way worse. I've, uh, I'm uh, like the least organized person ever, I think. <laughs> <laughs> this is a mess, but it's my mess, and I think it's time I finally fix it. So let's go ahead and chop some trees and build ourselves a proper house for our swarm. Okay, let's beautify this place, shall we? So I've cleared out this area over here, and I think that this is where my starter home's gonna go. Uh, 
about right here. <laughs> this is gonna be a pretty tiny little cottage for the time being, but hopefully it'll be, you know, a little bit better than whatever that is. If I don't get to building soon, Scott's gonna think that I'm grieving his server. For the building blocks, I'm pretty much just going to use what I have. And I have a lot of fur, wood, which is a new type of wood, modded wood. I think this will look pretty good for the roof. Yeah, that's not so bad stripped. There'll be plenty of square footage for my swarm to start in. Um, now we're gonna have a path coming out from here, of course. And, oh, maybe we'll kind of curve this around over here towards where we're gonna have fields of animals and, of course, fields of crops. We're gonna want to decorate everything to the best of our abilities, of course. And since it's modded, it's gonna have so many details. I wonder if this gives me water breathing. Well done, I test. <laughs> well, it certainly looks cool. By some miracle, I figured out how to fill a tank. So that way I can use my helmet. Just gonna uh, wait for it to fill up. While we're waiting on that, I think I'll go ahead and start decorating this little farm. This looks cool. I look cool. <laughs> Let's go get some more decoration blocks, shall we? I've only filled it up about half with air, but hopefully that'll get the job done. Oh, look at these fish. They're beautiful. Can I have one? <gasps> I got one! <laughs> Bucket of koi. Oh, and look, my back tank is working. I have six minutes of water breathing. That's pretty good. The reason I wanted this at all is because I would like to build out of bricks, which is normally a little difficult to come by, but we should be able to get a bunch of clay with our water breathing. It's been a while since I built anything out of bricks, so I'm excited to try this out. All right, at the moment, I'm making a bunch of charcoal because I'm using this blast furnace to blast bricks into worn bricks. And worn bricks become a really nice texture of brick. I just really like the muted tone. Let me show you it next to some actual bricks. I mean, look at that. It's so nice. <laughs> Once we have our worn bricks, we can put them in a stone cutter and get a lot of different texture options. And I absolutely love these mossy ones. So we're gonna use a mixture of the regular worn and moss to create a cute little cottage. kind of think that that's coming together. It looks like a cute little cottage where a bee girl would live. And so now I'm going to go ahead and give myself a flooring so I can properly move in. Even if I don't have a roof yet. We're working on the roof. It, it's cooking. The roof is cooking. Oh, I so should have done the herringbone planks. Darn it, hold on. Another fun thing about modded is that there's actually vertical slabs. Obviously, we're gonna use vertical slabs. Normally, I would put a staircase here, but instead, I'm gonna do vertical slabs and see how this actually fits. Yep, I actually think I really like the shape that that gives. Okay, and then up on this layer, we're gonna do the same thing. And then finally, a layer of stairs. Another really cool thing about modded is we have different types of glass. The stone cutter really has so many uses. Then we can make tiled glass panes and this should make our windows look really cool. Oh, I'm so excited to detail this house. It's so cute already. Now, uh, I guess I better get to work finishing it. that I have a house, it's time for my favorite part. We get to decorate and we have so many options. I mean, I'm gonna have so much fun with this. 
For starters, I think we need to figure out the full layout of this house interior. I mean, I love that we can step out into a greenhouse right here. That's like my dream, but I think that we also probably have room for an upstairs and maybe a basement. Thankfully, we have a lot of ladder options. I, I didn't expect to have this many ladder options. Oh, we also have so many furniture options. Oh, whoa. Okay, focus, focus. <laughs> Oh, I need a woodworking table. Okay. <gasps> Cute! Wait, hold on. This will go great in the greenhouse. It's perfect! Now we can make some ladders. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so cute! No way! Now, we're gonna have a comfy, cozy bedroom up here. And we're gonna probably want a couple more windows. I feel like I could also probably do with some windows up here. Although, maybe that'll look a little weird on this side. I'll make it work. Oh, I love it here already. <laughs> There's so much I can do. Now, I want some different colors of wool to match my bee house. As you can imagine, as someone who builds in vanilla a lot, getting to finally use all of these different cozy modded decorations was a tiny bit overwhelming. And I may have went overboard with the amount of things that I've crafted and squeezed into this tiny home, but I absolutely loved the process. Although it did take quite a bit of back and forth in the material gathering and the crafting. Welcome to the Swarm's home. Look how cozy it is in here with all of the furniture. Oh, I absolutely love it. We could sit here, read a little book in the rain. It's so cozy. We can garden out here in the greenhouse. And of course, I've also added a cozy little bedroom nook up here. And down there is where I'm gonna move all of my mess. Now that everything's set up, I can finally relocate the garden. First, I think I'd like to celebrate with a nice warm pot of soup. Let's make a vegetable soup with some stuff from our garden. It's the perfect day to cook a pot of soup, I think. We just are gonna need some bowls and then we can put everything in our pot. Bowls and all of our vegetables. There we go, it's making it. <laughs> This is awesome. I've always wanted cooking in Minecraft. There we go, vegetable soup, and it gives us comfort. Oh, I'm so happy. All in a day's work. Look at that, four pots of soup and a cabbage roll. I love it. And now we can store away the rest of our food items in these cupboards now. Oh, maybe not the rotten tomatoes. Interesting. This being modded Minecraft means we have a lot of extra stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a little chest room down below our house to store some of our extra stuff. Such as dirt, cobble, and maybe even wooden items. Okay, we're just gonna pretend like I did not start out in the world with a ginormous mess. It's fine, I'm doing a five minute cleanup, it's all good. <gasps> oh! My goodness, <laughs> I almost just died. <laughs> it's a good thing I have explosion resistance armor on. That was a little too close for comfort. Let's get out of here. Now that my cottage is finally in place, it's time to invite the swarm in. Uh, uh, hold on, sorry. No, no, don't go anywhere. I still, I still have a flower. I still have it. Oh, no, I didn't mean for you to sit at the dining room chair. I, I meant for you to go inside. That's fine too. It's nice to have swarm company in here. Now that I moved everything in here, it's time for me to get set back up with everything that I need for create mod. Hello? Hello? Are we friendly? Is this... Hello? Hey, welcome this to my nice cottage. House. Thanks. Yeah, this is this is lovely. Come on in. Oh, okay. Uh, sure. Oh, there's a there's a bee in a chair. Yeah, welcome. 
welcome. Want a cabbage roll? What? Oh, yes, please. This machinery is crazy. Thanks. That's my that's my automatic farm. Oh my. Wow. Okay. How long have you lived here? Um, about 12 hours. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> After our lovely visitor left, it was time for me to get back to the create mod and figure out a little bit more machinery down in my basement. I was having a lot of fun with this. And now that I've had my fun messing around in my house, I think it's time I complete my swarm by collecting the last of the animals that I need, which is chicken. Just chicken. Now, you don't happen to have any friends, do you? <gasps> no, 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 no! Come on! I needed that chicken! Okay, please don't die. We're gonna have to really watch out for the ferrets. I will keep you safe. Don't worry. Welcome to the swarm. Now for the pigs. Come on, little guys. All right, now we have bees, pigs, chickens, cows, and sheep. You know how most Minecraft YouTubers do a bunch of mining off camera? I've, uh, I've been doing a bunch of cooking off camera. I, I actually just can't get enough. It's so fun. Hi, Jem, it's me. Hi, Joel. <laughs> My name's Griff, actually, now I go by Griff. Are, are you a hippo? Yeah, I'm the hippo, Griff. Griff called hippo. Hip no, hippo called Griff. Oh. Oh. Am I purple? I think it's more grey than purple, right? You're purple. No, it's grey. It's grey. Why have you got a bee on a chair? Oh, this is my my swarm. I've got pie, too. Do you want some food? I just finished cooking. Oh, my Enjoy. gosh. Can you are so food? advanced. So far, I have some tools and gold armor, because that's all I can wear. Oh, my gosh. Cooked mutton chops? Yeah. Yum. Oh, you've been so busy. Where's your waystone? I'm going to take your waystone. I've oh, been there. cooking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's over there. How have you built all this already? Oh, I'm so annoyed. Jill, I need to get to work, Jim. I've put so many hours in on the server. I've at like 0 0.6 days played. It looks amazing. Oh my <laughs> gosh, there's like moving stuff as well. Yeah. Do you want to see something fun? Yeah. Oh. Let's Whoa. go for a fly. Whoa. Jill. <laughs> Be careful, don't fall off because you will probably die, right? So. Yeah, I will. I will die. Um, Why can you just pick me up and fly? <laughs> I can do what I want, Jim. I can do what I want. Could also just yoink all these out if I wanted to as well. Um, okay. Go back in. Go that... back in. Do these plant flowers or did you put? Yeah, the no, they plant flowers. Aren't they cool? What? Okay, I need to get some. Oh, man. You can borrow some of these if you need. My special ability is that I can breed a lot. Oh, okay, interesting. What are you then? I'm a swarm. I, I'm just. I could do this. What? You can fly like creative mode? Well, only for a second. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Okay, that's fine then. Kind of made my ability look rubbish there, Gem. Except you can't be pick. Oh, sorry. I've... Oh, what's going on? Let me put this guy back. Can you put my cows down, please? Okay. Well, it was lovely to see your little area. I will. I'm gonna. Oh, I can use this to get home. Yeah. Enjoy. I can't do that. Never mind. I'm just round the corner anyway. <laughs> well, you don't have any have XP. Fun. Call me Griff. I do, but I. I don't. I, my waystone is uh, right here in my hand. Oh, that's a bit silly. But thank you for the food. Right. Uh, all right. See you. Goodbye. Why is he calling himself Griff? I'm gonna continue my cooking, I think. Hello, B. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, we have these paintings. As you can see, I've, I've put my Hermitcraft base, but I could put anything, including fan art. So if you wanna make any fan art of my character, I can't guarantee that it's gonna get into the world, but I'm definitely probably gonna have like a place for some fan art. So <laughs> I would love to be able to do that because modded paintings are awesome. Anyways, I have a lot of things I can still work on, including the fact that I have some diamonds. I could totally get enchanting if I wanted to. I think for now, I'm going to just get myself organized do some more cooking and generally relax in modded. Thank you all for being a part of my lovely swarm today. I hope you've enjoyed this modded start. Please subscribe if you're interested in seeing more and I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye everyone.